Well, you knew this is coming eventually. Part 3 in the series. Even more free Vive games. Now 150 total. 3D Sunshine is a Minecraft-esque building blocks experience. Not really a game, more of a sandbox. If you like Minecraft, you might like this. I'm not even going to try to pronounce this one, but it's like a medical whack-a-mole where you get to poke someone's knee and take out all the targets. It is what it is. I'm probably the last person to ever try Alt Space VR, but it's pretty cool, similar to Rec Room, how you can meet strangers and play mini games. It's definitely worth a shot. In Audio Factory by Google, you go up this abstract elevator, room to room, trying out different musical experiences. It's really pretty, and I enjoyed playing this one. Blade Runner 9732 has you walking through the apartment that's in Blade Runner. If you're a fan of the movie franchise, you'll probably like this. It's pretty well made and really nice visuals. Blobby Tennis has you playing tennis with a blob on a beach. It does sound strange, but it is strangely addicting to play at the same time. Bowling at the lake has you bowling at the lake by yourself. It's not spectacular, but not too bad either. It's just okay. Comet's Wake is almost like an RPG, but in space. You get to explore these different floating islands while attacking enemies and finding treasures. It's a little rough around the edges, but hopefully it gets more improvements in the future. Compound Demo is an FPS with an obvious homage to the classic Doom games. Really cool retro graphics, I enjoyed playing this one. Crappy Zombie Game is the perfect name of a game because if you hate it you could always say well it's a crappy zombie game. Check it out if you want to. Derail Valley Demo has you conducting a train, and it provides a nice manual so you can figure out all the controls and such. I don't know how accurate it is, but it feels pretty realistic to me. If you love trains, check it out. Desert Bus VR by Penn and Teller. I don't quite understand what this is about. I think this was an experiment where they tried to prove it would be really boring to drive a bus for eight hours. That's about all I can figure it out, so check it out if you want to. Deserving Life is an escape room game that I think was a student project, but it's surprisingly well made. I enjoyed playing this one. In Discover Egypt King Tut's Tomb, you're getting some educational facts about King Tut while exploring his tomb. I didn't love it or hate it, it was just okay. But they were also thought to act as dream conduits that allowed communication. This is another one I don't know how to pronounce. It's obviously French. It's all about you exploring the interior of a ship, and you can also become large to take apart the ship and see how it's made. If you like shipbuilding, you'll probably like this. This is another very long name of a game, and I couldn't pronounce it if I tried, but it's a series of puzzle escape room games. The movement system isn't that great, and the narrator is kind of harsh to you, but it definitely has its fun points. Emmerholt Prologue is a demo for what will eventually become a role-playing game. I got about 20 minutes of play out of it before the demo was done, and I had fun playing this, so check it out if you're into RPGs. Favos VR has you stranded in the middle of a field, shooting zombies that walk towards you in the night. Pretty creepy, and for a free game, not half bad. Glorious Noon is an abstract exploration action game. Some really cool slow motion and bullet time effects in here. It's a little rough around the edges, it could use some more polish, but you should definitely check it out. Guns and Stories Preface VR is a demo version of what's the full game, but it's visually quite polished. It almost feels like a Pixar movie in some places. If you're looking for a Wild West shooter, you should definitely try this. 
Heart of the Emberstone Coliseum is a free miniature sandbox version of Heart of the Emberstone. You get to play with your superpowers and get a little bit of the story. Quite well made. Hide and Spook the Haunted Alchemist is a multiplayer game where one person is on the VR headset looking around and up to two people are running around the person with the Vive Wands. The person in the headset is trying to stare down the ghosts that are moving around them. Really clever use of multiplayer here, it's a fun party game. Home of VR Spacewalk is visually really impressive. You get to play as a new astronaut doing some stuff in space. Yeah. I do pretty well with nausea and motion sickness these days, but this had me feeling a little nauseous at the end. If you're not prone to motion sick, I highly recommend it. Icaros is like an abstract version of Unseen Diplomacy. It requires a very large play space, but if you have the space, I definitely recommend you check it out. It's fun to play. Immersion Chess is a chess game. You can play single player or multiplayer. That's about it. Iron Defense Demo is a quasi Call of Duty, hold your ground, shoot soldiers game. Pretty action packed and it's fun for a few minutes. Kokoda VR replays for you in a theatrical way one of the theaters of war for Australia during World War II. Lots of rich content in here. If you're a military history buff, I bet you'll like this. Krieg is a free multiplayer game that reminded me a lot of the classic Unreal games. I couldn't find anyone to play with, but if you find players, I bet this would be fun. M.I.A. is a polished, but short, action-adventure game. It almost feels like a Nintendo game in its quality. Unfortunately, beginning with level 2, you will see spiders. Magic Hour is like a photography simulator in VR. It gives you all the controls of a professional camera, and you get to experiment with the zoom, aperture, depth of field, etc. If you like photography, definitely check it out. Major League Gladiators is a free co-op multiplayer game. I couldn't find anyone to play with online, but if you're lucky enough to find players, this looks like it could be fun. Merper VR is a free 3D animation application in VR. Lots of characters to pose and environments to choose from. If you're into 3D animation, you should check it out. And similarly, Mindshow does 3D character animation, but this time it uses you as the performer, not posing a puppet. It's well-crafted and approachable. Highly recommended for any creative types. Mine! Exclamation point has you shooting robots in a mine. That's about it. MSI Electric City Core Assault is similar to the free game Cortex, but you're defending a city against waves and waves of alien ships. This is a really fun one, I think. NVIDIA VR Funhouse is a casual gallery of mini-games. It's fun for a few minutes, but it's especially perfect for showing people that are new to VR what's possible. Oblivion Tesseract is a difficult one to categorize, and it doesn't do a very good job of explaining itself to you. Sort of like a tower defense wave shooter with some magical elements. It takes some getting used to to figure out how the game works, but I got a few minutes of fun out of it. Racetronic VR is a visually simple racing game. I don't think you can race against anyone else, I think you're just competing against yourself in time trials. If you're into solo racing, check it out. Regenesis Arcade Lite is the demo version of Regenesis Arcade. It's a wave shooter with some really interesting qualities like superpowers and cool guns. Check it out if you're not sick of wave shooters. Renter's Revenge has you wandering in an open city with zombie people running at you. I was pleasantly surprised by this one and if you like shooting zombies, you should definitely check it out. 
Ship Ahoy Open Beta is a multiplayer ship faring experience where you get to shoot other players. This one was just recently released and I was lucky enough to find some other players to play online with. Check it out if this looks fun to you. Snow Fortress Demo has you building up a snow fortress and shooting snowballs at AI players. The full game will let you play multiplayer, but the demo is fun for a few minutes too. Space Dream VR Demo is an abstract musical experience that's very trippy and lets you fly in space to see all kinds of abstract visuals. If you're into passive, beautiful experiences, you might like this. From the team that brought you trials on Tatooine, Star Wars Droid Repair Bay is short, but fun and well made. Recommend it especially if you're a Star Wars fan. Tap House VR has you running a bar, and as you'd expect, it's all about multitasking. Give it a shot if that's your thing. The Arena of Gladiators is a short history lesson about gladiators. If you like educational VR stuff, check it out. From here, you and your fellow spectators would have witnessed many contests of skill. While the IOTA project has you piloting a giant mech in a city taking out robots. I personally enjoyed this on a few occasions. Pretty good for a free game. Treehouse Basketball has you shooting hoops by yourself. As you can see, I really suck at basketball. VR Battle Grid is Battleship in VR. You can play single player or multiplayer, and free multiplayer games is always a good thing. Wreck to get your ship together is a pretty unique experience. You have to set up a seating space even if you want to stand because the game requires you to periodically stand and sit. Setting up the sitting calibration is kind of a pain, but worth it in the end if you take the time. You by Sharecare is a sample of what is ultimately a much larger VR application that lets you explore various parts of the human body in various states. If you're into medicine at all, you might think it's kind of cool. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya!